All right. Now we will pick up from the previous video and we will create this long line shape. Okay. So I'll begin by going over and getting my tool, my pen tool, and the tear off. And I'll just place my tools right up here for a moment. Now, before we get started, I'm going to make sure that my fill is set to none and my stroke, my stroke will be black. And I'm going to go ahead and just move this down a little bit and zoom in a little bit, like so. And now with my pen tool, <clears throat> I'm going to start out of my border area, or what eventually will be the border when we make it. I want to start outside, and you'll see why in a few minutes. I want to try and get my line, or my point, centered the best I can right now. So centered right in here. So if it's helpful to you, maybe you go over and you get a guide, and you center the guide right on this line. Okay. I might have guides not available right now, so let's go ahead and go up to View, Guides, and let's show our guides. And there's that guide that I just drug out. It's just that the guides were not available for viewing. All right, so I want to start off or outside of my map area. So I'll click a point. And now I want to come down, and if I hold the shift key, I'll constrain a perfect straight line. And I want my next point to be where this line just begins to enter the curve. And you might have to modify the position of these, but you might just guess for right now, but I'll place one right there. And now I want a line in the middle of this one, in the middle and as we exit the curve. So I'll go ahead and get another guide and I'm going to guess right about here. All right. I'm not worried about curves. I'm going to do everything with straight lines then we'll come back and we'll add our curves. So I'm going to go ahead and get a guide, drag it right in like so, and I'm just going to guess maybe right about there for my next line. Again, if I hold the shift key, I'll get a perfectly constrained line. Now my next point may be right about here. Then I'll just grab the space bar so I can use the grabber. And I'll go down. Let's place a guide going through this line, like so. All right, great. I'm going to hold the shift key, add a point roughly there. And I'll place a point here. Let's go and get a guide. Try to center this the best we can. Right where these two intersect, I'll hold the shift key and click. Now I'll get the space bar and I'm going to go up. And I'm going to go past this just a little bit. Or I'll go past it just a little bit. We can always bring it back down, but I'm going to hold the shift key and click. Okay, so now I have my path. Now what we need to do is go over to our stroke panel and increase our stroke until our path is approximately the width of the path underneath. And that's pretty close. I might go six points. Now, what we'll do is go ahead and get the options. Now you can't see it, it's off the side over here. Sorry about that. Let me, uh, me move this over, get our options for our stroke. So we can see the cap, the corner, how we align the stroke, whatnot. So I'll place this back over here. And let's go ahead and change the cap style to round. Now we have that nice round top. And if we come over here, this one's also round. We're going to have to fix that later. We're going to get the curves in first. Once we have the curves in, then we can outline our stroke or our path. 
and then we can fix this top part. Okay, but I want to work with just a line for right now. Okay, so what we'll do is get our convert tool, and it doesn't really matter if you start with this point or this point. If it helps, you can zoom in a little bit. I'm going to click on this point. This is the one I'm going to select. Click, and I'm going to hold the shift key so when I drag, I can constrain. And if I can do just one handle, or pull out one curve, and get my path the way I want, fine. Now this right here doesn't look so good. A little, just kind of drops down a little bit here. So let's get our white arrow, and I'll select my handle on this side, and hold the shift key, and I'll bring that up just a little bit. Now that's not too bad. I could probably live with that. But if you want, let's go and get this anchor and get the convert tool and click and drag a handle. You might have to spin this 180 degrees and then hold the shift key. I'm just going to drag the handle out ever so slightly, just a little bit, like so. Now I can control this side of the curve a little bit better. So I'm going to hide the guides. So view, and let's find our guides and hide. And then use the white arrow. And you can hold the shift key after clicking the end of your handle and make subtle adjustments to your handles until you're happy with the curve. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to this next side. Select my anchor point, convert tool, click, hold, drag, hold the shift key. I'm going to drag this out just a little bit, then I'll go to the other anchor point, click and drag. I might have to spin this around. Again, I'm holding the shift key, and I'll drag down, and that's a pretty good curve right there. I might want to go back in with the white arrow and fix this part here a little bit. So I might choose to select this bottom point and pull my handle up a little bit, but I might need to pull this handle out. So the curve at that second point is a little bit better, okay? It's a little, little off right here. It seems to go to the left hand side. So I'm going to pull this top handle out a little more. And then click off. And I can see my curve. And that's pretty good. I'll go with that. All right, let's go down to the bottom. Same thing. We'll select our point. Get the convert tool. Click, hold, drag, hold the shift key. Just establish my handle, doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'll go and get this point, this anchor. Click, hold, drag. Drag out a handle. And I accidentally clicked on the point twice, so that's why I had that dialog box, no big deal. All right. So now we can make subtle adjustments if we need to. So, I might just bring this bottom handle out just a little and this top handle down. Good enough. Now let's scroll over. This one happened to be a 90 degree turn, so perfect. Now we'll go up, find my point. And I went ahead and made this up a little further because I can just select this point and then use the arrow keys on my keyboard, up, down, left, right. I'm going to use the down arrow key, and then I'll use the up arrow key, and we'll just nudge this up into position, like so. Perfect. All right, everything's coming along fairly well. Now we just need to go up, and we need to address this part. So I'm going to get the black arrow, the selection tool, select my path, object, path, outline the stroke. Okay, now I have a shape. Okay, 
So I can select this shape and then I can delete, I can add points and then I can delete points up at the top. Or I could just create a shape. I'll have to do a solid shape. So I won't have a stroke, I'll just have a solid shape. Click and drag this shape like so. All right, let's go ahead and get our Pathfinder. I had mine off to the side, but just remember Window and Pathfinder. already have it open, so I don't need to do it again. So there's my Pathfinder, and we have different shape modes, and we could Unite minus the front. That's the one I'm going to use. This shape, this square, is in the front. So I'm going to hold the Shift key, select my path that we turned into shape, which should be behind the square. So now they're both selected, and we will use our shape mode minus the front. And now we have a perfect, perfect edge for when we add our border to our map. Okay, there you go. We'll pick up the next video and work on the next part of our map.